This is Zuzana Mukumai and welcome to the Screw Being Unhappy podcast and the segment Coaching Insights, where I share the insights from the real coaching conversations so you too can get inspired and go into the actions towards your dreams. One of my clients came to me to help him to organize his daily schedule. He was struggling in how to organize his day so he has time to do everything that is important for him and he wanted me to share how to do that. And I felt resistance. I felt resistance simply because I didn't have the answer for him. I did not feel comfortable sharing what works for me because our human experience varies so much and we are all different and there is not a single strategy that works for every single person on the planet. So we kept going uh, from one session to another and I gently kept pushing him to find his own answers. My number one piece of advice to him was to honor himself and to honor the type of person he is. And the same goes for you if you have been struggling with something similar. Often, we try to fit the square peg into a round hole. Often, when we want to go after our dreams or want to become a better version of ourselves, we try to become an entirely different person. But that's not the point. We want to honor our strengths and our natural inclination and we want to keep what's working for us. So ask yourself this question. What works for me right now? Perhaps if you are a creative person, having a flexible schedule is what works for you right now. If you are a night person, what works for you is waking up later in the morning and then having those productive blocks in the evening. Or maybe you are a person who needs a to-do list for everything and real structure every day. In that case, keep that. The point is, build on what is already working for you. As a coach, I'm not going to give you advice to create a rigid schedule when you are a creative and you need this spontaneity in your work. In the same way, I'm not going to encourage you to wake up at 5 a.m. and do your work in the morning when you are naturally a night person and you are most productive in the afternoon or late at night. In the same way, I am not going to tell you to ditch your to-do lists and structure of the day if you need that to be productive and the most efficient you can be. Simply, sometimes we try to become what we are not. We try to fit our square selves into a round hole. And that never works in a long term or until you burn out. Let's honor our natural strengths and our natural inclination and let's work with that. And this is not to say that we should not try to change, that we should not develop new habits, that we should not work on our best possible versions. We should 100% to do that, but not by changing who we are, but building on what is already working for us. Let me share my personal example from last year. I so wanted to be the kind of person who wakes up early in the morning so I can get the time for myself and I have time to contemplate, meditate while everybody else in the house is sleeping. I decided that I will be waking up at 6 a.m. so I can sit uh, with tea on my veranda and have this time just for myself with the quietness in the house. I got that time, it was amazing, but by 9 p.m. I was sleeping on the sofa while my son was jumping all over me. By mid-morning, if I didn't have coffee, I felt like I would sleep on my desk. And I really missed the time to connect with my husband because the only time we had uh, to connect as a couple was after our son went to bed. But by this time, I was sleeping on the sofa, first one from the family. After a couple of weeks, I was exhausted. It felt like constant struggle. And I realized this is not for me. So I wake up at seven every morning. I get my son ready for school and I get this time alone after my husband and my son leave for school and work. I'm able to have enough energy to go through the day. I even stop drinking coffee 
and I can go to bed at 10 or 11, having that time to connect with my husband or time to read my book. So when you want to create the new habit, when you want to become your best version of yourself or when you want to go heads on to your dream, don't try to fit your square self into a round hole. Build on what is already working for you and start from there. No one size fits all. What is working for me might not work for you. What is working for hundreds of people might not be the right solution for you. You have to find the thing that is your own. And what happened to my client? During our coaching sessions, he realized that he's a creative person. And organizing his day became easy when he recognized his need for being spontaneous and give yourself that freedom to have different schedule every day. Because having the same schedule was not working for him. He shared that now he feels so much better and he feels so much less pressure and guilt than he did before. The point is... To get to your goal it doesn't matter how you get there the point is to reach it while having fun and enjoying the journey going there so if you feel this is too difficult remember i am here for you and if you would like me to support you on your journey just reach out to me send me a message and let's have a conversation how to make sure that your dreams will become a reality